Hey, so Drew Fickett, congratulations on your win tonight. Um, how's it feel to get another W after such a long time? Um, long time being like six months. Uh, pretty good. Well, I mean, I guess a long time meaning you've had a few fights in those six months. Yeah, you know, they haven't was, gone your way. I was fighting uh, quite a few fights and I wasn't ready and I was flying all over the world and you know, like in Brazil, I they flew me in and had to weigh in two hours after I got off the plane. Mm -hmm. Then they tampered with the scales, and to say the least, as a fighter, you know, I always have to be able to overcome adversity. But I think some of the exceptions in the past have been a little ridiculous, and my will wasn't really there. So I really wanted to win, and thanks to Team Scrub and Apex and. Pedro and my wife Anna and Freddie Contreras. I just have a lot of really good positive people around me and thanks to God and I just wanted to win. I'm happy to be here, happy to submit people and put on a good show. Now how do you feel, you know, when people talk about your fights coming up, it's oh, is he gonna show up, you know, drunk? Is he gonna show up mentally stable? Do you feel that? Do you feel that pressure at all coming in? And do you feel that coming from from, from MMA fans and, and how do you internalize that? Yeah, I don't know what other people say, um, but I don't really care. Uh, I've been fighting professionally for 13 years. I've been fighting longer than most people have even known about the sport. So if you want to hate on me, feel free to hate on me. That's great. You know, I prefer them to, I don't know, I guess use their energy in more positive ways on something else. But it doesn't bother me at all. Well, yeah, I don't... I don't sense it as hating on you. I feel like people know that you have so much skill and more of a what happened to somebody with all that promise. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's, I've never fought a padded record, you know, and I've never had really any gimme fights. And uh, even when I was fighting UFC, you know, I was supposed to be on the Ultimate Fighter, but ended up, you know, doing it the hard way and fighting my way into the UFC and then. You know, winning and losing and winning and losing and going back and forth from getting cut and getting back in and you know everything's always been like you know the tough road you know and part of that's you know been you know some of the choices that I've made but also it's just the way I like to fight I like to fight whoever they put in front of me and I'll never back down and I'm not afraid to you know go out there and test my skills against anyone there is whether that means oh, I'm going to get a chance to get back in the UFC because I'm going to fight some lightweights or some guys that really are on my level. No, I'll fight whoever, you know, they want, anyone wants me to fight. And whether that's in the UFC or outside of the UFC, I don't care because I'm a world-class, top-level, top-echelon fighter. And if you put a, a, one of, you know, a top-level guy in front of me, I'm going to try my best and I'm going to probably do pretty damn well. So when I was in the cage after Clay was upset, said that you illegally kicked Kevin when he was down, said you kicked him in the face. What what happened? What do you think of that accusation? Uh, who? I'm sorry. They were saying that you landed an illegal strike. Who's and Clay? Yeah. Guida, who was in the corner with Kevin. Oh, he's like his coach or something? Yeah. Okay. Um. So, um, yeah. So he was saying that you landed an illegal blow. Do you have any response to that? I have no idea what's going on. I I was just trying to submit the guy. So. Yeah. And you were saying that heel hook was not close, right? No. Yeah. So how many fights are you going to sign for, you know, with WMMA? Is this a one-off? Do you have another fight upcoming with another organization? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'm really impressed uh, with the WMMA organization and uh, the way they've put everything together, the way they've treated us. And, like, it's, it's pretty kick-ass. So I, I like fighting for them. Um, I like it when I go to a promotion and they don't treat me like a jerk. And, a lot of things, you know, promotions don't realize, like, oh, you know, maybe I'm Drew Fickett and some people, you know, tout me as, like, you know, you know, a veteran and they want to treat me well. Well, the thing I like to look at in promotions is the way they treat some of the younger fighters, the inexperienced fighters, and that really kind of shows their character and who they are. And this promotion is treated like everyone from the top, like, level, top name guys they had on the card to... You know, Joe Schmo who just got a fight, you know, to fill the card and they've treated everyone with the same mutual respect. So cool. that's awesome. I really appreciate that. So, thanks. Cool. Yeah, well I thought you looked good and I you know, I wish you the best. I'm not trying to give you a hard time here. I'm happy to see you get a W. Thank you very much, huh? All right.